Hi guys, so today I'm going to go through um, a really simple core circuit. I've had quite a few people ask for just the core circuit on its own, so I'm assuming that everyone's getting some really good workouts in and looking for something to maybe add on the end or do something kind of at the, at the end of the day when um, you know they're just looking for something short and sharp to do. So what I thought we'd do is go through um, a series of exercises, do 30 seconds on with 10 seconds off. Um, and then we'll probably go through the loop twice. Okay, so when we start the core circuit, we're just gonna start down on our backs with leg lowers. So with leg lowers, just before we start, um, make sure your head's down on the mat and you're not straining, and also um, hands can come underneath the bum to support that. Um, just ignore Woody in the background, he's having a little nap. <laughs> okay, so if we come down, we're gonna do 30 seconds, legs up in the air, and we're just gonna come down um, with our hands underneath, as I said. So, um, if this is a little bit difficult for you, you can do single leg, and that's a little bit of an easier take on it. But if you can, double leg lowers for 30 seconds. And stop there. 10 seconds rest. And the next one is uh, side crunches. So onto your side, and your leg's gonna simply run down the side of your quad. So you're lifting up, you can see I'm lifting with my shoulder as well. So it's really sort of starting to work in here is where I can feel it. Just trying to get as high, high as you can really just down to the other side of your knee if you can, but if it's just a little crunch, that's fine too. And stop there, I'm gonna switch sides. So straight down again, arm in front of like level with your face, and off we go. Ten seconds to go. And stop there. Next one is um, knee to elbow. So just coming down onto your back again. Arms and knees in together and then alternate one leg out, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Trying to fully straighten the leg, the opposite leg if you can. If not, you can simply just keep the, the leg bent and do leg cycles. But if you can fully extend the leg out, it just makes it a little bit tougher. And really try and rotate round on the crunches. Stop there. Next one is reverse crunches. This is a toughie. So we're down onto our backs head down, feet up in the air, and we're just simply trying to get our bum off the floor. This is just as hard as you want to make it. If you can get right up, brilliant. If it's just a little effort, you'll still feel that. Make sure that your head's down, hands are underneath the bum to support again. And just keep going, it's a toughie. And stop there. Next one is a med ball twist. So I'm just going to turn around so I can see you. So anything that you've got really, you're looking for, this is about a 3k med ball. So it's not super heavy. It's all I've got. But just something that's going to add a little bit of weight. It might even be, you know, a, a milk out of the fridge, a carton of milk, some washing up tablets anything, box of uh, fabric conditioner or liquid fabric conditioner, anything that just gives you something in your hand really. And stop there. So that's one round um, of the core circuit done. Um, 
it was, I can already feel it in my abs, although I did do a workout earlier. So um, it's fairly tough. Um, I think one more time round is pretty good, especially at the end of a workout, end of a run or something where you've maybe done something um, like more cardio based and you're just looking for a little finisher at the end. So let's go through it one more time and see how we feel after that. Okay, so starting from the top again, we're gonna come down onto our mats and we're just gonna do leg lowers again. So bending down, um, remember to relax the legs. If you were doing single leg lowers, totally fine. And we're just gonna go again. So trying to keep the legs really as straight as you can. I hope I'm doing a good job of that. <laughs> um, trying to keep the legs coming down towards the floor, as low to the floor as you can as well. It's pretty tough, but definitely helps to have your hands under your bum just to support your back. If your lower back is raising, just go to single leg. And stop there. Next one, side crunches. So onto your side again, hand out sort of in level with your face. And off we go, running our hand down the side of our quad. Definitely start to feel this in the side again. It's good. No pain, no gain. Get the burn going. Build the six pack. <laughs> And stop there. Switch sides. Although the amount of baking I'm doing is going to put an end to the six pack no matter how much core I do. And off we go on the other side. Stop there. Next one is uh, the crunches. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Going all the way out straight with the legs if you can. So this is a little bit of a mixture of sort of straight and cross because you're going obviously cross your body but you're also kind of coming up with your shoulders as well. So I kind of feel it all across like my lower core into my obliques and across my, my straight core as well. Stop there. Next one is reverse crunches. So again, just as high as you can off the wall, off the floor. Doing well, it's a toughie, stop there. And the last one, thank goodness, is the med ball twists or milk bottle twists. And off we go. So with this one, you might see some people, you can keep your feet off the ground. I always feel like it puts a little bit of unnecessary stress and pressure um, onto my hip flexors, which are already quite tight at the moment. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge, definitely go for that. Otherwise, just really concentrate on getting good movement, keeping the ball, you know, almost touching down to the floor. Use your core to move the ball rather than your arms. Belly button facing forward. And start there. So that was a little core circuit, guys. We've had um, leg lowers, side crunches, um, leg cycles, reverse crunches and medicine ball twists. So really good little circuit, kind of 20-30 seconds off between and then repeat. And again, if you're feeling really good now, why not do an extra round? Um, it's only going to be good for your core. Um, 
give it a go and let me know let me know if you like it